So during the whole law firm's press conference, they revealed that Diddy allegedly drug people, and this is including minors, with uh, horse tranquilizers, leaving them unconscious until the next day. And often they were saying felt soreness in their private areas. Uh, what's your take on this? When, when I heard that, um, pause, my mind was like blown. Um, so, you know, again, you think of things in, on different levels. So one level is that shit can't be true. He, that, he couldn't be that dark. That, that's, that's bananas, pause. Like, it's just too dark. And you think, well, damn, 120 people is a lot of people. Um, but even if 1% of that is right, it's crazy, um, unforgivable. And, and then I'm thinking, well, shit, that lawyer, you know, he has a, a, a pretty solid history and it would be pretty embarrassing for them to expose themselves in that way and be wrong. And then I'm looking at, they got the number while they were doing the press conference and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So to me, I'm like, if it's not true, then they just put a hit on him because there's nowhere that he can be where messing with little children is tolerated on any level. It's just an unforgivable thing where we're from, regardless of what you've experienced. And, um, you know, then I'm thinking, okay, if he did do that, well, well number one, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking what they said from what I understood is that 120 separate lawsuits. So that means there's gonna, like every single day for at least 120 different days, there's gonna be a different lawsuit with different people. And I'm gonna be like, yo, this shit is gonna blow my mind. And they're gonna drag this shit out. And then they're saying they're going to release names and now I need to really know these names. But then I'm thinking, all right, let's say this shit is true. Number one, it's, it's beyond pause. It's like demon pause, which is when you see demon pause, you don't even play with that person no more. It's like, what do you do? And I'm like, if that is the case, that's pure evil. That's, that's like devil worship. And people have been putting him on a platform for 30 years straight. And some people knew, but I guess the general public did not. So does that mean that everybody that went to his party and that celebrated him, if that's true, does that mean they were celebrating evil? Is, is that a form of like, you know, unconscious devil worship? And, and what was really disturbing to me about that was that they said that the pattern was they put stuff in people's drinks and then they would pass out and wake up sore. And number one, I'm like, wow, how many times have I been in an environment where someone tried to pass me a drink and I didn't take it? And now I'm like, who was trying to line me up? And I think, pause, that it's justified and warranted to reflect because I was around these people and I didn't know they played those games. And it's another level of gangster. So again, I ain't got no problem with people being gay but if you're pretending you're gay and you're a gangster, that's gay gangster. And you could get robbed of your money, but you also could get robbed of your manhood. And that's a whole nother level.